revenues generated from oil proceeds. Speaking to KTN Business, Petroleum and Mining Cabinet Secretary John Munez notes that this will be a priority so as to ensure Kenya safeguards oil revenues to avoid falling into an oblivious position. The sovereign fund is a, is a new idea. We've uh, had benchmarking uh, on, that, on that aspect, uh, given it's working in so many countries, in, in Norway, uh, in many other countries that have oil. Uh, Kenya aspires to also uh, join the League of Nations in, in developing a sovereign fund that will, uh, uh, that will put the funds we raise in the revenues uh, for purposes of development. We're still working on the, the mechanism of uh, operationalizing that, that fund uh, when, the, when the time comes. But uh, all in all, it is a good fund. In, if it comes, uh, when it's in, uh, in play, it will save this country wastage. It will ensure we, we save our resources that should not just be misused uh, for the good of Kenyans. The other small fund which I've always wanted to fight to ensure it happened is the royalty funds. You know, many uh, you know, investors in this country are, are paying royalty fees uh, to the national government, to, to Treasury. These are monies which are supposed to be paid to communities. We are not paying that money. I've gone ahead to, uh, to, to, to ensure we, we fast track uh, the development of this fund uh, through the Minister, the minister of uh, uh, Treasury. Uh, that uh, take, for instance, uh, based titanium in Kuala with a profit of 16 billion. And they've been paying this. That money, if it came back to the people of Kuala, uh, it would be good news for them. It will uh, excite them more. It will make them uh, provide consent for uh, the mining industry in this country. It will make people happy. It will, it will make people know uh, this benefit. It's one of sensitizing people that there's benefit in the, in the mining sector. 